Hi, I'm Dr. Morna Foy, president of the Wisconsin Technical College System. There are so many great things happening in our system. That's why I'm visiting all 16 colleges to celebrate our 300,000 students, our staff, faculty, and leadership teams for everything they do to make our campuses vibrant and innovative places to learn and grow. I can't wait to go back to college. The next stop on our tour of excellence is Waukesha County Technical College, with campus locations in Pewaukee and downtown Waukesha. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Nice jersey. We started the day with President Rich Barnhouse on the Waukesha campus for coffee with colleagues. Good morning. It's something they do quarterly to give employees from both campuses the opportunity to meet or catch up in person. Hi, Florida. Good to see How are you. you. Thanks for coming in this morning. Yeah. While the Pewaukee campus is larger, the Waukesha campus is undergoing renovations to better serve the community there. We're going to be adding a lot more programming. We want to make a real commitment to downtown Waukesha. Yep. So we're bringing in the liberal arts, bringing in uh, human services, health and human services, a lot more programs down here to be a really robust uh, campus overall. Over here is 20 cubicles or operatories. That One of the pillars of the Waukesha campus is the dental clinic. That's where I met Dental Assistant Coordinator Jessica Jacoby. So this is for all of our students to use um, on doing like charting. Sometimes I use it for a testing area too. I sat down with student Emily Morris, who is a couple of weeks away from finishing the Dental Assistant program. What made you uh, choose uh, Waukesha or what made you uh, choose this program? Uh, I grew up in Waukesha, so I've always known about WCTC. Nice. My my dad actually was an instructor here. Oh. <laughs> um, so he kind of <laughs> he helped me with my decision, yeah. Um, and with dental, it's you're helping people. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's cool. It's like a hands-on program, mm -hmm. and it's a small program, so you get to know your classmates really well, and you get to know your instructors really well. So nice. it's super nice to always have that kind of team to help you through it. Did you always love going to the dentist? No. <laughs> I did. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> so it's kind of ironic, but I think learning about it makes it less scary mm -hmm. to go because it is super important. So this part here, this is like the actual scanner, and then it's kind of technique trying to figure it out. So you basically want to watch the screen the whole time. You're not really watching in the mouth just to make sure you're getting all the teeth. Okay. And then so they'll be able to send this right to the lab, and then they can print off any like mouth guards or whitening trays or models of the teeth and then they just send it right back to your office. Let's just work together as a class, get the seasoning for it and then we'll just bread them all at the same time. From the dental clinic we made our way to the Pewaukee campus and the culinary arts department. Next week is their second to last week so it's their practical. Okay. So their practical is basically they have three hours to complete a list of tasks or a list of things to cook. Uh, one of them being a pan-fried chicken breast, like we would a cutlet. From chicken to knife safety and baking, students in this program learn all facets of what it takes to succeed in the kitchen. In the first year for the baking um, classes, they're all, it's kind of block schedule, so we spend two to four weeks on each topic. So we'll do cookies for two weeks, breads for four weeks, cake decorating for four weeks. And then um, the second year is a lot more freedom. We do high production baking. Um, they can kind of tailor it to what they want to do. Chef Rachel Oliver says she's seen the age of her students get younger over the years, including some who are currently in high school. However, there are several for whom cooking is a second calling. And what do you got going in there? Uh, this is some pork belly that we're using for the soup, the cow soy. Like Matt Piscula, who switched from IT to culinary management. I've just always been interested in cooking my entire life, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Did you know that Technologies had a culinary program? Uh, I did know about WCTC's culinary program, yeah. Um, my parents had went here um, back in the day. So like my mom went here for nursing, my dad went here for mechanics, I believe. While many students in the program aspire to be sous chefs, executive chefs, or own their own restaurants, Anna Marie Tatil's motivation has nothing to do with employment. So are you working um, in a restaurant when, when you do this program? No, actually I am a homemaker. Nice, so my, your family's going to get this? Uh -huh. Oh my god. My profession is different, I am a textile designer. Really? Mm -hmm. So what made you do this? Mm. I love cooking, so wow. it's a hobby for me.
I have lots of dental jokes, like 2.30. I'm always like, it's 2.30. 2.30. Oh. 2.30, lower right. <laughs> you like that one? I turn to your so. left. I've, I've, oh, come on, <laughs> dude. So these are actually real teeth. So these oh, are teeth that are actually really? donated. So this is what we use for radiography, for taking x-rays, for them to learn how to take x-rays. So instead of radiating a patient. So that shoe box <laughs> full of um, the tooth fairy. <laughs> yep. That's tooth where that my right. parents had in yep. their closet. I it's the tooth have, fairy. I should have brought them here. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there's a real That's tooth right. fairy out right. there. And this is what the tooth fairy does. Brings the teeth to us. Wow. <laughs>